Hey what's up guys, welcome to Mr. Wick channel. I'm inside the Euro Tunnel train. Actually it's quite big, it looks it's half a mile long. I was supposed to go on a boat trip from uh, Plymouth to Santander where it would help me cut um, my journey halfway. Unfortunately, uh, Brittany ferries cancel my journey three times. It doesn't take too long to do the crossing, it's just 35 minutes, but uh, hey, I'm so upset because uh, I lost almost three days and uh, lost some money as well. I will show you when I'm in, in France. And here I am now in France, guys. I just uh, passed Paris two hours ago. I'm not even halfway. Look at these guys, I'm in Mars. No, I'm not, I'm in France. <laughs> here I am now in Portugal, guys. What a beautiful view. Finally, I had a shower, it's half three. Look at this, look how beautiful it is in Portugal. It's half three and it's 22 degrees. I just got the car in front of the house where I am really standing here. Is the entrance. I'm there at the top. Yes, guys, let me give you facts and figures. It took me 36 hours. If you would put on a sat nav, for example, where I'm living from the Cotswolds to here, was 21 hours something. My goodness. I was supposed to come on uh, uh, Brittany ferries. They cancelled four times. They messed me around. I lost three days of my holidays, but thank God now I'm here. I just want to let you know, guys, this actually was quite a, a good experience. Um, for example, uh, France and Spain, they got amazing roads, very comfortable to, to drive, actually better than in UK. I'm not saying UK is bad. Portugal and, and UK, actually, they are very similar with the quality of the roads, actually. The good thing here, the petrol is cheaper. In France, it's very expensive, but it's not cheap as here. Spain is just a little, two or three pennies more expensive than in Portugal. There's a lot of tolls in France. In Spain, I just had a few. They were not too bad, but especially the first three ones, as you're going around, very, you have to go very close to just the outskirts of uh, Paris. And it was 20 something pounds each one, every good couple of miles. But I still think it was a rip off. So all the friends, I think I paid 20 in total. And they, as you move forward, they start to get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. So the last one, I think I paid one pound 80. I'm gonna share with all of you with the nice places. I'm gonna now try to eat something. I go to a nice shopping. So let's do this together from the first day. Stay tuned.
here I am in the center of Cascais. I'm here by the city council of Cascais, really beautiful. And this is the statue of the Portuguese king, king called Dom Pedro the First. Here I am. This is a really good place to come and visit, guys. Here I am here by a beautiful place. This is called a fish beach. And why? Because there's a lot of fishermen here. As I can show you just behind me, there's a lot of boats behind. So the fishermen, they use them, they go uh, to fish. This is a well-known tourist point here in Cascais that you can come and visit. And they do a lot of um, shows here. Do you have seen actually some English restaurants and pubs? of port of Cascais they come here they can gather together eat and drink and uh, I know some officials uh, from the marine they, they go inside and they can socialize together but where I am where I am actually right now used to have a house here that you can't see it uh, but wh what I want to tell you is um, I did have really bad moments here I'm here actually to be positive and to show you my town but I did have bad moments here because my father did beat me a lot here Actually, one of the cases because this house actually was a two-level store. He left me for a full month there in the dark, feed me once a day, made us to clean the house, and we spend here right now where I am. It used to be a house where uh, I suffer a lot because my father was a very violent person. But here it doesn't matter. One day, if you come here by this captain um, uh, house by the port of Cascais, you will know. Guys, here I am in a beautiful place. Actually, this place where I am right now is called Sintra. If you don't know, go on my channel. I'll leave on my description and I will uh, put the name where I am. I'm here in a specific place. As you can see at the top, there's the palace where actually the king used to live. I'm in a place where it's been modified. They used to have like small trees and bushes all the way around here. It didn't look as nice as it looked today. And what happened is the king, he would love to have beautiful gardens. And what he did, he ordered seeds to come from around the world, guys. Listen to this, around the world. He brought, I think, more or less 400 different seeds to have different plants, trees, flowers, whatever he wanted. So he could have a beautiful garden presented to all the people to enjoy. Now apparently there was a, an aristocrat where he used to live at um, the Montserrat Palace and because he found out about what the king wanted to do to have a beautiful garden as it is, you can go to the top and visit the gardens as well. Uh, he, he, he paid money on the side, he said, oh, I found out that you're going to bring lots of seeds uh, for the king, can I have some and I will pay you on the side. So he, he wanted to have a competition, he wanted to show, look at me at, at the Montserrat Palace, you will be beautiful as well. And that's what happened, it's so nice actually to find out about these things, so I can share with all of you. And here I am in a beautiful place. 